These are five of our brand new favorite whiskeys in the bar. And we have found some hitters. First brand new favorite in the bar. This is a Bardstown single barrel from Total Wine. $80 this is a six year single barrel bourbon. It is a high rye mash bill at 36%. It's 125.6 proof. Oof, smells like friggin' vapory cherries. It's not bad, like the smell. Get over the smell, okay? Just get down there, get through it. I feel like you've said those words before. Don't mind the smell. You've also said, it doesn't smell, keep going. <laughs> How do you know? You're way up there. <laughs> you know though, when you say shit like this, everybody thinks it's true. It's called a joke. So yeah, I think- I get a lot of wood chips, hickory wood chips. Very lightly charred oak wood chips. Mm -hmm. And it tastes like charred cinnamon roll. What's a cinnamon cereal? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's graham crackery. Is cinnamon toast crunchy? But it's not the Graham O's or whatever those that thing's called. No, no. Not the Aldi brand of, of cereal. Do you remember Smacks? They were puffed rice. Oh, I thought you meant your your past boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> remember when you got smacked around? <laughs> I call him Smacks! I call him Smacks. That's how he does! <laughs> That's how I know him. I get out of line or I speak when I'm not spoken to, he smacks me. <laughs> Abuse is not a laughing matter. Stop. It's not. You stop laughing and you stop laughing. And, hey. The one person that didn't laugh there was me. <laughs> Again. <laughs> very breakfast. cinnamony, very brown sugary, extremely enjoyable on the palate. A decent finish on it. It's good. But yeah, you've got super high proof. You've got a decent age statement on it. It's Bardstown. Rumors of them actually sourcing, you know, what, what comes out of Angel's Envy and other great brands. This is great. New favorite is Remus 7. Did you hunt for that? I did not hunt for it. Do you know what happened is um, I had my big boobs hanging out and a guy goes, hey, have you ever had a Remus? And I was like, yes. He goes, there's only one of these left. Turns out there was like five on the shelf. A random day at a random time. He told me there was one and I was like, okay, I'm special. Well, he also said, there's only one. Can you jump up and down a little bit and I'll get it for you. <laughs> See, ladies, I know it's not ethical, but it will get the job done. It's like a brown sugar sugar cookie. I don't know. I'm not sure that I'm getting that brown sugar sugar cookie. Have you ever had a sugar cookie? Have you ever had your mom? Did you accidentally? 100% <laughs> molasses. It's way more sugar cookie than molasses. That's why I said a brown sugar sugar it's cookie. It's way more molasses than sugar cookie. I don't know what kind of molasses you got. I don't know what kind got. of sugar cookie you got. Mmm. <laughs> okay, so much. It's like very rye forward. It is a high rye burp. Yep. Which I love rye, no wonder I like it. But you know what, I think what I'm, I'm struggling a with. Sweet rye. It's kind of like a sweet rye, I would agree with that. It's like that high age rye that like Gene from Cat's Eye uses for the Magi or like Mammoth sometimes gets and secures. This high age rye doesn't, it's not like this, this beefy, robust, like a rye's rye, like a new riff rye. It is this highly refined rye in there that uh, I don't know, I find, I find interesting. You might find it interesting, but other people don't care. Next new favorite in our bar, we're actually very excited to bring this forward. Farm and Spirit, every single year, they have a limited release, a Solera blend of some of their oldest and highest proof whiskeys. It's called Evans and Pike. This is actually our upcoming single barrel release, uncut, unfiltered, bourbons as old as from the year 2000 in this. Solera Blend, the youngest bourbon in this batch is 10 years old. The eldest bourbon in this batch is 23 years old. And it is fantastic. 125 proof and change. Did we used to make like a fruit pizza back in the day? Yeah, you put this cream cheese on your pizza. Kind of like a fruit pizza. You got the cookie base, the cream cheese, and some light fruit, not, not, nothing pungent like a strawberry, maybe like a kiwi over top. Oh, okay. I like the kiwi. Yeah. But sometimes when I put kiwi in yogurt and then I eat it like a couple hours after, the kiwi has gotten rotten. You can find yogurt life advice here on the whiskeychannel.com. <laughs> I get a lot of oaky barrel. It tastes as if it would, if you opened your mouth inside of a very warm Rick house. You just mm. open your mouth and all those aromas you're swallowing. Wow, my mouth is just like watering from it too. The finish is absolutely incredible mm -hmm. on this. And what I didn't mention before, this is actually a four state blend. It is Kentucky, Indiana, Tennessee, and Colorado. It is wildly complex. A ton of dark 
oak still. I can't get over that part. And then I'm getting this like really dark chocolate bitterness, but mm. the good bitterness from good dark chocolate. Cacao. Like, yeah. When you get those like your deli squares, that's exactly what this tastes like. A hint of like a marshmallow char on there. Maybe it's just the char on it. And then I get a lot of toasted almonds. I love all of those notes. The one thing I would add to all that, coffee. A high-end black coffee is in all of those same notes. Ugh, I do like coffee. That's the, I'm not asking if you like coffee. I'm saying it's in here. <laughs> Matter of fact, we were talking about it before we hit record. Of all of the barrel picks that we've done, I'm as excited about this one as I have been about any of them. Yeah. And I think this is so undercover. People don't understand what's coming their way. I don't think it's going to sell like hotcakes the minute it comes out. Because? Because people don't understand what it is. I think the minute they get a bottle, they taste it, they're going to come racing back to us in texts and chats and messages saying, are there any so more good. of these? He actually talked to us when he was making this blend. And we said, we want the oldest shit you got. Mm -hmm. And we want the highest proof shit you got. <laughs> of course. And uh, Rich over at Farmer's Beard, obliged. This has become like my absolute favorite. David had to hide it from me. I did. This was purchased about a week ago, and I've had almost none of it. This is so good. So this is the 2XO, two times oak, by Dixon Deadman. Actually, he's the guy that started the really famous children's charity in uh, in Tennessee, uh, Dixon Kids. Great charity. He actually started a, a battered woman shelter <laughs> called Dixon Women. I never heard of that one. He actually started a, a charity for um, the nuns in, in the Catholic Church uh -huh. called Dixon Sisters. So the smell of this, I mean, there is some oak, but I'm surprised that is, I don't like oaky, oaky drinks. You don't tend to. I don't. No. This smells really bubble gummy. So off the nose, I would imagine that this is MGP immediately. So like an Almond Joy, yep. you cracked it open for some reason, like a maniac. And you're like. It's like a strawberry on the nose, like a ripe strawberry. Like a muddled strawberry yes. in a cocktail. Yes, yeah, like a yeah. Definite barrel char. I think it's toffee forward. I think it's got some marshmallow notes in there. Maybe some uh, almost like a milk, like a, not a milk chocolate, like a like a hot cocoa with some marshmallows in it. Yeah, I was going to say it is a it's toast with butter, cinnamon and sugar, a little bit of that marshmallow fluff, and a drizzle of Nutella. You know what it is? <laughs> Those cold brew coffees. Oh, yeah. So, the so, nitro, maybe. What are you thinking of nitro? Yeah. Oh. So, so that, that, that sweet, it's not straight bitter coffee. It's a sweetened coffee, but no milk. This is like a nitro coffee. Mm -hmm. Caramel's there in a big mm -hmm. way. Wow. Two thumbs up. What would you GPA it? Gosh, this is close to perfect. Really? It's close to perfect. Even at like $99 or whatever we paid for it. Oh, 90 shit. 99 whatever it is. 3 9 Damn. It is so good. It is that so That might be good. the highest GPA you've ever given it. That's up. why you've friggin' taken it from me. You've taken this from me in one of like Matt Porter's new -lus. Like Matt Porter's apple brandy finished new -lus I have had to hide from Kira because I would like to have some at some point. No. They're... And they were almost gone in the first 72 hours. <laughs> yeah. Last of our new favorites. I'm going to tell you right now, I did not realize that like coffee flavors were going to be the theme, but that coffee flavors are one of the things I like about the last of our brand new favorites. It is a Chattanooga whiskey, straight bourbon whiskey, single barrel, 118.9 proof is called 119. This thing is at least 25% malt. It is at least four years old, and I am a big fan yes, of I'm, this. I always shy away from malty things. I think, and I do too, I think Chattanooga though does it right. Yes. I'm literally just smelling like someone put nuts in an oven with no flavoring. Was it a Dutch oven? I think it's okay to call it like candied nuts, like uh, roasted candy, roasted though. nuts. Okay. They aren't just a straight like Spanish dry roast though. There's something else there on those nuts, like the Boston dirt, the Boston baked nuts. The pink kind has all the lumps all over them. Yeah, this is not this. I just, that is this. I just told you what it was. I said it is. You said you want nuts. nuts in an oven with nothing else. I am getting those candied nuts, sugared nuts, sugared almonds, sugared cashews. Like some sort of like that you'd buy at a ball game. And then from there, very, very light coffee notes. So now we've gone from deep, dark coffees in the, the, the prior favorites to more of a milky latte type of a coffee. Hmm. 
And as far as a Tennessee whiskey goes... Oh, no, I wouldn't even imagine this was Tennessee. Exactly what I was going to say. This is not your typical, uh, prototypical Tennessee whiskey profile. No. To me, this is like just a savory bagel. I don't know what's happening. A savory bagel? So these are our favorites. You can tell me your favorites, but do you think I will care? No. Do you think I care your thoughts on my favorites? No, but please let me know just so um, I can see your name and I could put you on my to kill list. I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. I just like doing that. Yeah, people like it when you agitate whiskey. People like it when you get that nice beer foam head on the whiskey. People really enjoy that. Go ahead and leave a comment if you enjoy <laughs> beer head foam on your whiskey.